to my channel and if you're new to my channel go ahead and hit the subscribe button to see more home holiday event wedding and DIY decor. Today I'm going to show you how to make four foot giant numbers that you can use for any milestone celebration. Here we go. was brought to you by Pinterest. <laughs> Once again, Pinterest has done it. Um, I fell in love with the idea of this um, uh, four foot, I think it was four foot, it could have been bigger or shorter, to me it was four feet, and um, that's why I'm making my four feet. Uh, so yeah, it was a four feet um, acrylic and balloon giant number, and oh my gosh, it was so beautiful. It was for a first birthday party of a boy, and oh my gosh. So pretty. Anyway, acrylic can be very expensive, so I decided to make mine out of foam board where you can get the same effect and the same beautifulness for your next birthday party or even for an anniversary. So let's get started. All right guys, so this is what I'm using to guide myself to make my four foot giant numbers. I got this image from Google. Uh, by Googling or by searching four foot giant numbers, I actually got the number 21, but I decided that I'm only going to make one number because I know it's going to be time consuming, especially with it being so large. Um, and I'm also going to be making it a little bit different. I'm not going to be using the back panel. I'm only going to be using the outer panels and I'm going to be filling it with balloons. I just wanted to make it a little different from my giant letters. Uh, if you haven't seen that video, I'm going to attach it at the end of this video so you can take a look at it and learn how to make letters. And I'm also <laughs> using this envelope <laughs> where I drew out uh, the sizes that I thought would be proportioned to make my four foot um, giant number so yeah okay so there are 10 sides to this number one one two three four five six seven eight nine and ten I'm going to be cutting all these sides first before putting it together and I'm going to start with the bottom panel and that's going to be two feet by one feet to use my exacto knife to cut out the foam board next I'm going to be making these two side panels and I'm going to be making them one foot by one foot now I'm going to be making these smaller panels here these two right here and this one right here at the bottom I'm going to be making them six inches by 12 inches so six inches by one foot. Next I'm going to be making this tall panel right here on the left side. I'm going to make it two and a half feet tall and one feet wide, okay? So two and a half by one foot. I'm going to make this one right here, the nose. I'm going to make it 10 inches by one foot. For the top of the number one, this part right here and the one right on top. For my tallest panel, which is this one on the right, I'm going to make it three feet. And since I do not have a foam board that's three feet tall, I'm gonna have to put these together. And what I'm going to do is hot glue them together, then tape them with transparent tape.
I'm going to start putting my number one together from bottom to top and I'm going to start with the very bottom one which is my two feet by one foot which is this one right here and then I'm going to grab the two from these sides which are one foot by one foot okay and I'm just going to grab hot glue and glue them together Now I'm going to secure with a little bit of hot glue inside. Now I'm placing the two on top right here at the bottom. Okay, so I'm going to put the bottom to the side for a bit and I'm moving on to the top. Okay, so I'm going to construct this area here. I'm going to glue the next one, which is my one by one in an angle. So it's going to look something like this. Moving on to the very top one. Now I'm going to start gluing on the floor and I'm going to be gluing the panels from the middle. I'm going to start with my two and a half and then I'm going to move on to my three and a half. And lastly, let's glue on the bottom part. If your number one is still a little wobbly after applying glue in the inside, go ahead and apply glue to the outside where the panels connect, but make sure that you add it very neatly. Now we're gonna move on to the balloons. And as you can see right here is, you know, coming in a little, but don't worry about it. Once you place the balloon, that's gonna come up a little more and it's going to look amazing. I'm going to be using nine inch purple balloons, lilac and white. You can also use five inch balloons. I'm using this one because you can blow them up into five inches and up to nine. Uh, as far as the five inches, you cannot blow them up any bigger. And I thought that the space down there actually measured it and it will be better with the nine inches, okay? And I got these from Party City. And here I have one balloon. This is pretty much the size that I'm going to be blowing all of them up. And this is probably about seven inches. And I'm just going to go ahead and blow all of the balloons that I have. Well, not all of them, maybe half of them that I have in each bag. And I'm just going to randomly place them all inside the number one. You may need or may not need to use hot glue. Um, so pretty much use it to your discretion. This is it, this is my four foot giant number filled with balloons. As you can see, I added letters to the balloon. This one says one because it is the number one. <laughs> um, this is definitely great for your child's first birthday or for any milestone celebration. All you have to do is add the extra number. You can also use this for anniversaries or for work anniversaries as well. This is amazing. I truly, truly love it. If you like this video, make sure to give me a thumbs up. Make sure to comment and let me know what you thought of my giant number filled with balloons. And let me know in the comments below also if you have any requests. If you are an event planner, let me know what's on your wish list and maybe you'll see it next time I make a video. Also, make sure to share, share, share. Sharing is caring. If you know of a friend or a family member that's going to have a birthday party soon, anniversary or work anniversary, make sure to share it with them at the end of this video. All right guys, until next time, bye.